we speak. Also this morning, the mayor is contemplating shutting down the entire New York City subway system. We have an enormous emergency shelter system and a database of thousands of city employees. I have not ever seen these models go over New York City like this, but if you get street level down toward uh, the big Empire State Building here, you can look above the sky and some of these forecast models would take what's the center of Irene directly over New York City. I have some information in from the Pentagon. Approximately 100,000 National Guard troops all up and down the East Coast are available to help respond after Hurricane Irene. New York City's mass transit authority has announced that beginning at noon tomorrow, they will be shutting down the city's entire mass transit. There is no question that we are going to get hit with some wind and high water that is very dangerous. Warm at 85 degrees, helping it grow. And on the northeast side of the storm, where it's usually most dangerous, this one especially so, with hurricane force winds that stretch out 100 miles. It's a large hurricane. It's a very large strong circulation up to the north. So this whole side is very, very strong. We zigzagged the storm several times, and when we crossed the eye on the fourth try, the eye wall, the storm's fury, had formed, and we discovered it was now miles thick. The is on its side. It's now moving away from the islands, and all the landmass gets back over the water. So we shall see what happens.